These past few days, I have deleted all my social media apps. I got rid of Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, and even WeChat. The reason why I wanted to do this is because I feel like I could be doing a lot more in many facets of my life. So today I have one more class and then I have, have a lot to catch up on. I should also really clean my room. with Econ Glass and now we're at Phil's grabbing some coffee. I'm with Will, not my roommate Will. Different Will. Yeah. Why don't you introduce yourself? My name's Will. I'm a senior at Northwestern and I'm friends with Fred since um, two days ago. It's actually really funny because I knew Will before going to school. He made Northwestern vlogs when I was still in high school and did my research about the school. Loki, I was a big fan. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. My first impression of Fred was that he has a very small head. My head really got small. My my mom had to C-section me. My head was too big. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually. Yeah, my head was too big. <laughs> Speaking of birth stories, that's crazy. I must have a twin. Do you know that? What? Well, what'd you do? Eat him? <laughs> yes. If you could have any realistic superpower, what superpower would you have? To heal people like Jesus like, like Jesus yeah like Jesus mm -hmm. make a lot of money I was about to say it's a very selfless like superpower <laughs> until you Save said a lot that. Of lives. <laughs> I would probably say photographic memory also there's like a blizzard outside okay it's not it's not a blizzard it's like a it's like a mini mini snow storm no bad. it's like pouring snow it's not, it's not that bad. no it's pretty bad <laughs> I want to go play in the snow Okay to have social media. We were outside for maybe like two minutes and I probably got hypothermia and frostbite. I feel like we're not supposed to be outside right now. Like I haven't seen a single person outside. Maybe there was like a snowstorm emergency that we just did not get. Expected to get about oh, three inches is not bad. I can take I can take three inches. Are we talking about snow here? Yeah, snow. Been in the snow for even like 10 minutes. Made me super hungry, so I'm gonna grab some food right now. Get some warm. I just finished getting dinner with Will, and we parted ways now, but it's still snowing, and I'm literally freezing. This weather's making me want to transfer. Where should I go, guys? Comment down below. Another reason why I'm doing this whole no social media thing is because I've been trying to develop good habits and take responsibility for my own learning. Because growing up, I feel like I was forced to do a lot of things by my parents or teachers. I just did what I was told to do. And because I was so spoiled in that sense, I never really had to teach myself how to manage my own time or sleep early or develop good habits for myself. I feel like there are so many things for me to learn. I just finished working for like an hour and a half and these are due in three days so I'm not actually in a rush but I did want to work on them right now so I could get ahead and not have to worry about them later. There still are a few questions that I'm not sure about so I think I'm gonna go ahead to office hours and meet with my 
TA or professor and ask them some clarifying questions because this class is kind of confusing. <laughs> I just finished meeting with my TA and I got all my questions answered and it finally stopped snowing. You know, in high school, I was actually embarrassed to meet with my teachers one-on-one -on -one or ask for help outside of class. I rarely asked for any help unless it was with my close friends. Looking back on it, it was probably one of my worst habits and I feel like because of that, there are many opportunities where I missed out on improving my learning. You know, everything that I've done in my life and everything I accomplished, it's because there have been people who have supported me, like you guys, and people who helped guide me along the way. And plus, it's not fun to do things alone. I'm heading back to my dorm now, and it's not super late, but I am trying to sleep earlier these days. Usually I sleep at like 12, 1, but I really want to try to get to bed at like 10, 11. Speaking of good habits, I actually bought a book recently called Atomic Habits by James Clear. This is how you know I'm serious about building good habits. I'm not done with this book yet, but so far it's been a pretty enjoyable read. I wouldn't say the book has any life-changing advice, but if you do have a little extra money and time, I feel like it's definitely something to pick up. One notable thing that I have learned from the book though is about the concept of systems. The book basically talks about how systems are more important than our goals. For example, systems take us to our goals. So basically you should be focusing more on how to get to your goal than the goal itself. That's one of the biggest things that I've taken away from the book so far. But before we go to bed, I'm gonna try and get like 30 minutes of reading done. I just finished washing my face and now I'm all ready to go to bed. Honestly, these past few days have not been that bad at all. Coming into this, I feel like my biggest fear was definitely falling behind. I think the one thing about social media is that it's super easy for you to compare yourself to what other people are doing. And to be honest, I feel like I'm a fear-driven person. I feel like if I take too long of a break, people will forget about me and move on. But I think because of this, it was good that I did take a break to reassure myself that everything will be okay. You know, social media will always be there. So make sure to always prioritize yourself. I am very tired. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.